we're here to talk about shape molding foam backers for vinyl siding. In our original process for making foam backers for vinyl siding, we start with making small beads into a large block. That large block is cut with hot wires into various shapes that make the backer for the vinyl siding. When we cut those shapes, about 35% of the raw material turns into being the cutouts between the parts. Therefore, about 35% of the material that goes in a block goes in the grinder and then has to be recycled into another product. So we started to, begin, started to explore the idea in 2003 of shape molding foam into a siding backer product so that we would eliminate this problem. We can make a part that first of all doesn't have any waste. The finished part is made from the beads, there's no waste involved. We can also make a part that's very, very durable, very strong. We can make a part that has three dimensional properties so that we could put water managing grooves on the face. We can make a, a, a front for the vinyl siding. We can make interlocking edges. There's a lot of things we can do with shape molding that we really couldn't do with wire cutting. Now, understanding that shape molding is not new. Shape molding has been done for probably 30 or years or more. What is different and is new is a shape mold that is large enough to make a part that is 13 feet long, that has to be perfectly straight and has to hold really tight dimensional tolerances. At the time that we began developing shape molding for insulated siding, there were only six machines in the world that were large enough to make insulated siding products. None in North America, they were all in Europe. In truth, it took us about two years to learn how to make this part and make it right and make it consistently. The machine itself was about $1.4 million. The tool, each tool for this process is about $300,000 per tool. So this is not the kind of thing that you use to make 20 of these and 30 of those. It's when you have thousands of the same thing that you make that. All right, here you can have an inside view of the, of the largest shape molding press in North America. This tool size is over five feet tall and it's over 13 feet long. Huge tool, big investment, but it makes a fantastic part. Shape molding starts with the tool that is the exact shape of the part inside of the tool itself. So as the machine closes, you can see that it's closing and creating the exact part inside the machine. We then begin to pull that machine under vacuum and draw all the air out of it, and that's what's happening right now. And then we begin to blow, blow loose beads into the tool itself to fill the tool so that every nook and cranny of that part is filled. We then begin to steam into that bead mass. The steam it reignites the bead and it makes the polystyrene pliable and it, it makes the bead expand once again. Once the part is dimensionally stable and the part is cool, the machine will open up and allow us to eject the parts. As the machine unlocks its clamping force, the tool will begin to open and as it does, you'll see the finished parts inside the tool. Once open, a robot can come in and we can eject the parts automatically uh, through a robotic system that will take the parts out and move them to the stacker. With the parts removed, we'll then cycle the machine all over again. So this cycle happens about every 120 seconds. We're ejecting fresh parts from this process. We see a good future for shape molding in various building products that we're working on at Progressive Foam because at Progressive we're really about making it right, doing it right the first time, making the higher, highest performance, highest quality part that we can, uh, and that's really our motivation behind this process.